1998. NASA and modern astronomy say Polaris, the North Pole Star, is somewhere between 323 and 434 light years, or about two quadrillion miles, away from us. Firstly, note that is between one quadrillion nine hundred and thirty eight trillion to two quadrillion six hundred and four trillion miles, making a difference of over six hundred trillion miles. If modern astronomy cannot even agree on the distance to stars within hundreds of trillions of miles, perhaps their science is flawed and their theory needs re examining. However, even granting them their obscurely distant stars, it is impossible for heliocentrists to explain how Polaris manages to always remain perfectly aligned straight above the North Pole throughout Earth's various alleged tilting, wobbling, rotating, and revolving motions. 99. Viewed from a ball Earth, Polaris, situated directly over the North Pole, should not be visible anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. For Polaris to be seen from the southern hemisphere of a globular Earth, the observer would have to be somehow looking through the globe, and miles of land and sea would have to be transparent. Polaris can be seen, however, up to over 20 degrees south latitude. 100. If Earth were a ball, the Southern Cross and other southern constellations would all be visible at the same time from every longitude on the same latitude, as is the case in the north with Polaris and its surrounding constellations. Ursa Major and Minor and many others can be seen from every northern meridian simultaneously, whereas in the south, constellations like the Southern Cross cannot. This proves that the southern hemisphere is not turned under as in the ball model, but simply stretching further outwards away from the northern center point as in the flat earth model. 101. Sigma Octantis is claimed to be a southern central pole star similar to Polaris, around which the southern hemisphere stars all rotate around the opposite direction. Unlike Polaris, however, Sigma Octantis cannot be seen simultaneously from every point along the same latitude. It is not central, but allegedly one degree off-center. It is not motionless, and in fact cannot be seen at all using publicly available telescopes. There is legitimate speculation regarding whether Sigma Octantis even exists. Either way, the direction in which stars move overhead is based on perspective and the exact direction you're facing, not which hemisphere you're in. 102. Some heliocentrists have tried to suggest that the pole star's gradual declination overhead as an observer travels southward is proof of a globular Earth. Far from it, the declination of the pole star or any other object is simply a result of the law of perspective on plane, flat surfaces. The law of perspective dictates that the angle and height at which an object is seen diminishes the farther one recedes from the object, until at a certain point, the line of sight and the seemingly uprising surface of the earth converges to a vanishing point, i.e. the horizon line, beyond which the object is invisible. In the ball earth model, the horizon is claimed to be the curvature of the earth, whereas in reality, the horizon is known to simply be the vanishing line of perspective based on the strength of your eyes, instruments, weather, and altitude. 103. There are several constellations which can be seen from far greater distances over the face of the Earth than should be possible if the world were a rotating, revolving, wobbling ball. For instance, Ursa Major, very close to Polaris, can be seen from 90 degrees north latitude, the North Pole, all the way down to 30 degrees south latitude. For this to be possible on a ball Earth, the southern observers would have to be seeing through hundreds or thousands of miles of bulging Earth to the northern sky. 104. The constellation Vulpecula can be seen from 90 degrees north latitude all the way to 55 degrees south latitude. Taurus, Pisces, and Leo can be seen from 90 degrees north all the way to 65 degrees south. An observer on a ball Earth, regardless of any tilt or inclination, should not logically be able to see this far. 105. Aquarius and Libra can be seen from 65 degrees north to 90 degrees south. The constellation Virgo is visible from 80 degrees north down to 80 degrees south, and Orion can be seen from 85 degrees north all the way to 75 degrees south latitude. These are all only possible because the hemispheres are not spheres at all, but concentric circles of latitude extending outwards from the central north pole, with the stars rotating over and around. 106. The so-called South Pole is simply an arbitrary point along the Antarctic ice marked with a red and white barbershop pole topped with a metal ball earth. The ceremonial South Pole is admittedly and provably not the actual South Pole, however, because the actual South Pole could be demonstrably confirmed